The Seattle Seahawks stay on the road for the second straight week, this time taking on a new look Chicago Bears team. Both squads are coming off of disappointing close losses and will be looking to rebound on the national stage of Monday Night Football. Big matchup, two hungry teams getting ready to go on Monday night. Um, the Bears had a terrific game going, and then, you know, we, as we all know, Aaron Rodgers kind of stole the show at the end of it. But they uh, they had a really good-looking night going, and, and they showed their defense, showed their offense, showed their the playmaking, uh, all kinds of good stuff. And and so we've seen we've seen them, uh, and you know they we, they deserve a lot of respect. With the second overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, Mitchell Trubisky enters his second year with the Bears. His quarterback rating last week was average at just 77, but he was able to extend plays with his legs, scoring the only offensive touchdown of the game. I think the first thing that struck out to me was his uh, athleticism. He does a great job, a lot like Russ in ways. You know, he extends plays. Uh, guys are going to have to cover a lot longer this week. Um, when he, he runs, but he runs with his eyes downfield, so you know, he's still trying to make a play. So. Good athlete, uh, very mobile, uh, you know, really has a good feel for the game, uh, finds the open man. If, a, if, the, if the play is, a, is not working, he, he, can, he can get it back with his legs. Uh, you see the growth in him from, from the first year to the second year, so we're, um, you know, we have a challenge ahead of us. The Bears bolstered their defense in a big way, picking up linebacker Khalil Mack in a trade with the Oakland Raiders. The former Defensive Player of the Year had a big debut, recording a sack, a forced fumble, recovering that fumble, and a pick six with the team. Khalil, um, we didn't expect him to be on our, on our schedule early on like this, um, but he's, he's a tremendous player. I have a lot of respect for him and how he plays the game, and he's as tough as it gets. Watching the film, I, we didn't get to see it on the way back, but watching the film um, you know, from their Green Bay game and how he was really causing a storm um, was pretty impressive. You, know, you, don't, you don't get to see that many um, defensive ends making the kind of plays that he's making and the things that he's doing. But he's a great player, uh, adds a different dimension to him. I was around Leonard Floyd and Roquan Smith, uh, the rookie linebacker and the other outside backer at Georgia. Terrific players, both great athletes. Roquan's extremely instinctive. Uh, the two guys inside are, can be dominant against the run, really powerful. Uh, Hicks and uh, Goldman. Uh, so really good front seven, uh, good secondary, and have all the respect in the world for Vic Fangio. As for the Seahawks, wide receiver Doug Baldwin left week one with a knee injury, and that could open the door for other receivers to get more involved. The guys are ready to step in if that's the case. You know, um, you know I think that um, you know, we got a lot of great receivers. We've, um, we didn't have Doug, unfortunately, in the preseason. Um, but fortunately, fortunately for us, we got to get a lot of reps with other guys. You know, I know when Doug comes back in there, he'll be ready to roll if that's this week or next week or whenever that may be. Russell Wilson was sacked six times in the running game, was only able to muster up 64 yards in week one, making run blocking and pass protection a key this week. Without the running game, you're, you're going to feel like it, you don't control the game at all. And, and so um, it's a big deal. It always has been for us, and we were always um, – aiming at it, making it a balanced attack that it's difficult for, the, for the, your opponent to figure out what you're doing and all. It also helps the, the pass game. It helps pass protection and all of that. The Seahawks also want to be more effective on third downs as they are only 2 of 12. We've got to be great on third down. That's like any game, that's any situation. That's always going to be the case all year and for the rest of football history. Um, you got to be great in third down. I think for us, um, we just got to convert, you know, and, um, and, and continue to move the chains a little bit and uh, stay on the field. I mean, I think about, we, I think we we're on the field for only 24 minutes or something like that, you know, and uh, one, that's a credit for us scoring fast, but two, uh, it shows that if we can be out in the field a little bit longer, how much more can we score? You know, I think that's what we look forward to. Well, the Seahawks have played well against the Bears, posting an 11-4 record against Chicago. That includes four straight wins, three of which were at Soldier Field. Well, kickoff for Monday Night Football begins at 5.15 p.m. Pacific. You can watch it live on ESPN or Cairo 7. And, of course, you can always listen to it on the Seahawks Radio Network.